Okay, so a feature of objects that I really want to talk about is persistency, and this can be really useful depending on what type of game you're using. Basically, you have different rooms, so we might have the first room which has these objects in, and we might want to have another room so that when you complete the first level, the first room might be the first level, and then when you completed that, once you've met the conditions, obviously you'd have, prog you'd have to program this in, you want to have them so that you transfer over to the next room. So you have the first level, and then you complete that, then you go over to the second level, and then when you complete that, you go over to the third level. That's just an example of what might happen. Or maybe you've got a more expansive game where you have an overall world map, and you have different towns and villages and everything, and different houses. Well, you might want to make it so that you've got one room, which is the village, and then another room, which is when you're inside the house. So you might have a character that walks up to a door, and then that changes the room into the house room. So then you have the room, which is like the level of the house, I guess, and then you walk out of there, and then you transfer back to the village. And you might leave the village and then go into the fields or whatever and basically you'll transfer between rooms now the di the thing is is that when you transfer between rooms the objects change so say for example in this room here we have these green squares and this red square and this blue square if this is a field and i'm walking across a field and ooh, these are enemies getting in my way if i then escape and then i'm in the village they're not there anymore. Now, that's okay, and that's what you want for most objects, but I want to draw your attention to one specific object, and that is the very first object, the control object. The control object is basically the object that contains all the key variables that isn't going to be visible on the screen, but it's just there to hold all the variables to make things work in the background, to, to make sure that things have limits and things work and interact in certain ways you want that to always be there if you go into another room say you're in the field then you go into the village and the object's not there well all the stats disappear and you don't want that what you really want is for it all to carry along with you now one solution you could i suppose do is have this object and just place it in every single room but that causes a problem because if you're creating a new one in every single room, then the object is being recreated every time. So say if, for example, here we have the code. Say, for example, you are in a field and you've been fighting with all the enemies and you've just made it out and you've only got three health left. So you're almost dead and you're really trying to find a safe spot so that you can heal up. Well, if you leave the room and then enter another room, and this object appears again, well, it's going to do all this code again. So your health is going to be equal back to what it's originally set at. So in this case, change that. So in this case, it's going to be 100. And you don't want to have it so that if you you can cure just by changing the like changing in between the rooms. And see these amount of items here. You start off with no potions, no ethers, and no antidotes. Say you go to a shop and you buy 10 portions, so you've saved your money and you buy 10 portions. If you leave that and then you enter another room and this object is recreated, well, everything goes back to how it was, so you've lost all your portions. So what you really want is you don't want the same object in every room. You want the same instance in every room. Now, I want you to really pay attention and think about this. Instance means that... It carries over all its individual variables. Like, for example, if these two green things here, if they're two enemies, sure, they're both the same, they both run off the same code, they both have the same attack pattern and such, but you don't damage both of them just by hitting one of them. They both have their own health. You want the same instance constantly throughout the game. Well, there is a solution to this. What you do is you go into Control, and you simply click on Persistent. What that means is that the object is persistent and it will constantly keep itself in the room. So what that means is, say if you are in this room and then you go into another room, that object, it won't disappear. It will carry itself over into the other rooms. And that is crucial. It's really important in some cases to have that. One thing to be absolutely careful of, though, is that you don't want to create this object 
in a room that you can revisit. Because say if, okay, I started in this room, okay, I started in this field, and I've got 100 health, and I'm fighting through these enemies, I escape the other side, and I've been damaged a bit. I've, I'm, now down to, I'm now down to 70 health. I exit this, and I go into the village. So this room here is the village. The object carries over, so I now have the 70 health carried over from the control object that particular instance of the control object. Well, that's all good, but say if I was to go back into this room, the object carries over because it's persistent back into this room and a new one is made because this is where they are created. So now I'm left with two. I hope this is making sense and I hope this is clear. There may be some games where you just got one room or you don't have anything that really carries over. You just got a series of individual puzzles and stuff. And in those cases, you don't really need persistency at all.